welcome to SM Techno. If you are planning to deal with the manual cooling and heating load calculation for HVC building service, then this course is for you. For learning manual load calculation, you need a comprehensive course which covers all the topic in detail. You also need concept calculation project to practice. And congratulations, this course cover all these topics. This comprehensive course covered with 27 lectures and total of 7 plus hours. This course create with the career and essay course and standards. And what you'll get with this course? With this course, you'll get detailed step-by-step -step calculation notes to download plus a data book in which you'll find the ASHRAE and career course which we'll use at the time of load calculation. Along with this, a sample project layout which we'll use at the time of load calculation to deal with the different sources of heat gain plus ASHRAE climatic software to use to extract the psychometric condition along with this you'll get e20 sheet plus e20 excel to use to save the time and at the end you can also download heating load calculation format so let me give you the brief idea about the course content this course start with the building survey and building survey is required to extract the information from the building and from the different services to deal with the load calculation and if you want accuracy in load calculation you must maintain accuracy in building survey so in building survey we are going to learn how to extract the information from the architectural layout for that we'll learn first how to read the architectural layout like how to read the plan section elevation in detail to start with any service plus the psychometric conditions for outside and inside then we'll also talk about the latitude longitude and orientation of the building which we'll use at the time of solar load calculation then we'll talk about the elevation of the city again to use this for psychometric condition then levels section heights etc along with this we'll also talk about this construction material because different projects different construction metal and different resistance for heat and based on the resistance of heat we'll calculate the overall coefficient of, coefficient of heat transfer that is called u and the u is very important to deal with the load calculation next terminology of building structure like what is wall what is wall partition what is glass what is glass partition etc then the surrounding conditions like color of wall color of the roof etc then the window glass the type of glass the type of glazing the color etc then the doors the material the size then people how much how many people in a space uh, as per the furniture layout and activity as per the application next the lighting load uh, the types of light and the wattage from the electrical lighting layout then the appliances what type of appliances is used because appliances also generate the heat so all these points will cover in detail at the time of building survey and with that information only we can deal with the load calculation so in load calculation we'll deal with the manual cooling load calculation for summer and manual uh, heating load calculation for winter so first we'll start with the source of heat gain like external sources internal sources like heat gain through glass heat gain through wall heat gain through roof all comes under external sources and if you talk about internal sources like heat gain through people lighting and appliances so we'll cover all the sources then we'll learn how to find out the u value for the different construction material like u value for wall u value for roof u value for glass that is overall coefficient of heat transfer and with the help of u we can find out the actual heat gain then the sample project in the sample project we'll learn all the possible source of heat gain mathematically then the input file then cooling and heating load calculation then e20 sheet uh, to save the time and again after learning e20 sheet will also deal with the e20 excel to save the time for calculation and the, at the end will also deal with the heating load calculation for winter well that was all about the course now about me myself sm ali and i'm a mechanical graduate and also holding a master degree in hvac and i'm a member of ashray ishray IBG, igbc and a certified NLP trainer and having 12 years experience in the field of training and MEP industry and work experience in India and Al Khobar Saudi Arabia.
I work in both design and installation and from 2008 I am running a training center called SM Techno based in Hyderabad, India. So I have the experience of both the worlds, training as well as MEP industry. So I invite you to have a look at previous videos of this course and I know you are going to enroll in this course. So see you at the course. Thank you.